Okay, right, I've long pressed the uh, TRV in the off position, OF, and I've got a flashing light. That should now be accessible from the Zigbee hub that's uh, upstairs. So if I go to Gateway, because it's just a generic hub, click on that, and as you can see I've already got dining room radiator there. So let's add the sub device. It's a, ooh, Ensure device is in pairing mode, yes, okay, LED already blink. And let's see if we can discover the device. Make sure the device is in pairing mode. One device has been successfully added. There we go, smart radiator. Lovely, done. Smart radiator thermostat. So let's quickly change that to, this is gonna be the living room radiator. Um, Give my grammar, and that's in the living room, and done. And that's successfully integrated into the app. It's not the Toya app, it's the uh, Smart Life app, which it runs in symbiosis. You can either use one or the other. So there we go. So that's adding that. And no text. So let's try turning it up. I'm trying to turn it to 10 degrees and that's me changing the temperature on the radiator on the red TRV itself and then turning it back down on a TRV so that TRV is now communicating with the Zigbee gateway that's communicating with the Wi-Fi network that the home assistant sits on so I'll try and show you in the next screen how to uh, look at it in home assistant so let's turn that back up there. I don't know whether you can hear the valve going. I'm going to put it to my microphone and let's see if we can hear the valve deploying. Possibly. I'm not sure. It's really, really quiet. For, for a, a budget TRV, I've got to say, it's very, very quiet. I was expecting much, much more, much, much more noise. So we'll leave it at that. And uh, the next shot is to be uh, attaching it to the radiator.